What email styles do you prefer? Do you write formal emails? Do you write informal emails? You can probably tell me that they are all formal. However, I can tell you that IT emailing is a little bit different. If we talk about formal and informal, there is a third type, which is called the semi-formal or semi-formal, if you want to speak American English. As semi-formal emails, those are emails that combine both formal and informal. Let's take a look at what formal emails are and when we use them. And in the end of this episode, you're going to decide which style you follow in your day-to-day -day emailing operations. When you write formal emails, you have to be extra polite and very kind. You should use longer structures and very formal structures. You use a lot of cliche phrases. You do not use acronyms or abbreviations. You have to be careful with contractions, right? So like, for example, if it's a formal letter, you do not contract uh, don't, you have to write do not. Yeah, this, that's a cliche thing for formal emails. You have to think cl clearly about grammar structures. Um, for example, for formal style, you tend to use more complex structures like conditionals, passive voice, all kinds of perfect tenses. Formal emails are typically used for a certain situation. For example, complaints or some serious requests. So I would say that in modern English, I would use formal, like really formal email. I would use for a situation like I'm writing to a bank with some complaint or I bought something online and I want a refund. In English communication culture, it's very important to be very, very polite if uh, you want something. Even if this is not your fault, yeah, for example, you received the damaged device and now you want to return it, still, you have to be very polite, otherwise um, you're not gonna get your money back. Let's take informal style, uh, for instance. So informal style should be very close to um, spoken English. You use short phrases, you can use slang, you use phrasal verbs, uh, you don't worry about contraction that much. You can use abbreviations. Um, you can use emotions. Uh, for example, if we take formal style, emotions are not acceptable here, like exclamation marks or emoticons, they are not acceptable here. Um, in, for in informal emails, you can use smiley faces. It can be just like chatting to people. And uh, the language, the grammar should be very simple. You, you use like simple structures. Yeah, you don't worry about um, impressing people with your uh, turns of speech. Let's take the third style, a semi-formal. Like I said, this is the most popular for IT industry. So what is a semi-formal style? Well, here we are go going to combine informal and formal. So of course, semi-formal style we use for day-to-day -day communications. Uh, so basically that's business. So we have to be um, quite reserved here. So we, we can be using a lot of slang. However, there is a certain types of jargon that we can use. So we're still going to be using shorter structures. However, we are going to stick to the format of, um, of a traditional formal email. For example, the beginning, the opening of our email, the closing are going to be more uh, formal uh, while the, uh, the body of our email can be quite informal. Here we can use uh, um, contractions. Semi-formal emails are very big on phrasal verbs. Uh, we use a lot of phrasal verbs in our spoken English. That is why we tend to use them in our written English as well, especially in IT. Uh, since a lot of IT is done in the United States, uh, you probably know that American English uses a lot of phrasal verbs. So that is why in both spoken and written English, in American English, we use a lot of them.